This video is sponsored by the brand new JV Jiu Jitsu online store at jvjujitsu.bigcartel.com. What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. Leg locks have become very popular over the past few years. Once believed to be impractical and not effective, the belief in leg locks has come back due to the new control-based approach. One of the initial problems in securing an opponent's leg is wrapping and controlling an opponent's foot. Wrapping and controlling an opponent's foot will allow you to position your legs in order to fully control an opponent's ability to move. In this video, we will discuss two of my favorite ways to wrap an opponent's foot, drumstick on the table and the rubber band effect. As always, I hope you enjoyed this content and thank you for watching. Director. Producer. And writer. Okay. So, Everything is based off of the split, not everything, but a lot of this is based off the split. I'm going to control the ankles, I'm going to split. He can have that foot, he wants to start grabbing that foot. Now I'm going to wrap this one. I can also pick it up and wrap it, right? Once I've wrapped it, I sit and fall and then transfer. I can hold on to his foot on this side and just control and hold. Just wait for him to relax. If he is fighting uh, to turn, I'm, I'm keeping that trap as I scoop. Hold. If he's fighting my hands, trying to fight my hands, I can release and start attacking the heel. But I'm in no rush to finish. Okay. That being said, the problem now becomes how can I wrap the foot? Because this foot is moving around. So it tends to be a little bit more difficult to control. This foot here, you can kind of put weight on it, you can push it down. A lot of times they get, they get a heel hook here. So this foot is more or less stabilized. This one becomes the one that's difficult. So let me give you guys a couple of, of, of tools to be able to achieve the goal. Now everyone's played with the rubber band. You pull the rubber band and you you pull the rubber band, okay. So, keeping that in mind, when I start to push somebody's foot down, which way does it want to go? So if I push down, he goes up. See how it goes up? So I'm going to use the rubber band setup as I'm pushing this down. Go, 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 go. The court lands. So I'm going to turn my thumb this way. So as I'm pushing this down, I just turn, look what happens. Goes right underneath my armpit. So as I'm playing here, I'm passing, poof, no problem. I rubber band it into my armpit. Once I rubber band it, boom, sit. You can use this foot to keep him down as well until you transfer. And from here, we have two options on the control side, circle, 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 circle. So I have two basic options to control. My feet are on the inside, which gives you better control overall than if your feet are on the outside. There is control here, but he also has access to attack my feet. When your feet are tucked inside, it makes it tougher to turn and it makes it tougher to um, attack my feet. My feet are somewhat protected because they're tucked. So I have two ways to basically control here that I want to discuss. One is it just extending. And one can be very sticky, so as he's trying to get the foot away, my feet are very just sticky. Wherever he goes, I'm very sticky. Option two is to use the top side leg to thread 
And now I'm going to control, instead of controlling this foot here with my hand, because if I don't control this foot, he's going to unlace, unlace, yep, and then he can start to turn. So I don't want, so in order to prevent the, that lacing, I hold the foot, unlace. You can't, because I'm holding onto his foot. But sometimes I'm going to need to want to finish. So if I let go of this, he has a better shot, even though I can stay sticky, even though I can still bug him with my feet, he has a better chance of escaping because I'm not holding on to his foot anymore with my hand. So what I'm going to do to replace my hand control here is I'm going to, instead of going under with his foot, I'm going to go over and under. So I'm tucking over his leg and under his foot. Now I extend. Now, with this control here, as I'm, as I'm squeezing my calves together and my knees together here, it's putting good torque and pressure here. So to unlace this leg here, go ahead unlace, it's going to take a second. Meanwhile, I am starting to scoop, angle, and work. Make sense? So we're going to use the rubber band effect for the initial wrap. Once I have the wrap off of a split, look, I can lean into them as much as I want. Fun, 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 fun. And just thread, depending on your flexibility, thread however you want. You can sit and thread as well. So as I rubber band it, I can sit and thread as well. Control, control, control. Until I'm going over his leg, hooking behind the knee, which gives me plenty of space to go over his shin and under my foot. Now we can start to attack. Okay. So we're using the rubber band effect to rubber band it underneath our arm. So that makes the wrapping of the foot easier. The wrap, the initial wrapping control of the foot is easier. I also want to discuss about absorption. Again, he's trying to pull this foot away. I'm absorbing. It's not just locking it. It's absorbing. The way that he gets his heel out is he's going to turn his knee and then the foot comes out. On, on like a key turning and then pulling the key out of the hole. So if he does start to turn, you kind of try to absorb and not allow slippage at the heel as much as possible. Question. What if he, what if he keeps that left leg down towards your ankle and he's just trying to... Which left leg? His left leg that, you, that you're trying to grab that you're going to rubber band. That's not his left leg. That's not his left leg? This is his right leg. This one? I'm not trying to rubber band this no, 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 no. That one. He that keeps one. that one down? Yeah, he keeps that one down. Okay, go. Keep that one down. Then it's not available. Oh, okay. I could try and fight it up. You have that. to understand. Am I trying? Wait, he's burying his feet. Am I trying to leg lock him? Pass. Mount. But if his feet are up, which they usually are, it, this goes right into the standard high and low split series. And, you can start doing this. So you have to take the path of least resistance always. If, it, if you can't get to his foot, pass his guard. If he's so committed to keeping his feet down, mount. And if the guy's doing it today, it's like, you're not defending realistically because I would do something different. What I'm trying to create is battles that are reasonable and battles that are things that you're gonna have to deal with. He's burying his feet. It's not a worthwhile battle. You, you want to change the battle. Question. Go. <coughs> I don't want to get all crazy with that. Nice pose, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> so, one setup that I use is the rubber band. Boom. Wrap. The second one is putting the meat on the table. So here's a, uh, a piece of, uh, what do they call it, a drumstick. Mm -hmm. I'm putting the drumstick on top of the table. The table is the top of my thigh. Putting the meat <coughs> on top of the table. Now, when I put this on top of the table and I go to wrap, he's going to move his foot out of the way. So I need to be able to hold the foot in place and use my hand to wrap. So I have to do two things with one hand. So here's what I'm going to do. Pull your foot up. Oh. I use my hip to trap. Now I wrap, even if I wrap high on the knee, I can still sit and thread and then slide myself lower on the foot. So when I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Oh, pull your foot away. Hmm. 
Okay? So you're using your hip, which I'm down at, I'm using that everywhere. So I'm splitting the same way. I'm connecting my leg deep and I'm placing weight on top of the back of the shin. I can extend his leg away and now look, his leg is so extended. He can try to come this way, but I can still use my hands to stop and still wrap this leg. It's the third hand. Okay. So as I do this here, boom. Questions? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.